All right, everyone, today is extra special because it's not every day that you are joined by an eternal. And so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Friends from Work, Leah McHugh, who plays Sprite. Woo! Leah! Wow. Welcome. Welcome. Wow. Excited to be here. How are you? We are doing so good. We're doing even better now that we're talking to you. I want to start here, Leah. Um, you have a ton of experience doing films, TV, other stuff. Is that first day that you walk on a Marvel set, is it a lot different than something you've done in the past or is it similar in a lot of ways? It felt like 10 times the pressure, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like as, as a kid coming onto like a set with all these like adults and these A-list actors, it was really intimidating. And I was like, I can't mess up. I can't mess up. And I, <laughs> I, they actually switched scenes around me on my very first day. So I was, I no speak Spanish and I found out like an hour before they're like, Oh, we switched the scenes. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my God. I just speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I can't mess this up. <laughs> yeah. I have, it's like a blurred memory of the first week. Cause I think I was so nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you do in that situation when, when you were told that you were about to have to speak a language that you don't speak? <laughs> I just like practiced till I knew it. I like made sure it, it was only a few, it was like a second uh -huh. or two. So it wasn't awful, but um, one of the actors in the scene actually spoke Spanish in real life. So he helped me out. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. That actually leads into a question I was going to ask, which was what, what were the dynamics like on set when you're talking about so many A-list actors it was just a massive cast full of incredibly talented folks. What was it like sort of balancing out all those personalities and, and just working with all these folks maybe for the first time? It was actually really fun. I, I don't think I was really aware of how famous some of these people were, which was a good thing coming into it. You know, <laughs> I wasn't as nervous as I probably should have been. And it was funny. I mean, so, so like Selma was actually like a fan of Angie and Angie was a fan of Selma and Dawn was a big fan of Angie. So we, they were all sort of like fans of each other. So it was really fun. Uh -huh. We were all excited to meet each other. And Chloe had talked to all of us about the family dynamic of this movie. So we were all hmm. like ready to jump in and like make it happen. I mean, we hung out off set, on set. Like we were, we were really good, like friends with each other. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what was your experience like working with Chloe specifically? Chloe was amazing. I mean, the amount of effort she put into like every single one of the characters and how much mm. thought every moment of the movie had. And, mm. you know, she she would like ponder things and, you know, come back and make it better. And um, she really helped me understand my character. And, and I can say the same, I think, with all of us. She really connected us to our characters. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually our favorite part, too. As a side note, we talked about how she has a really good feel on the humanity of these characters and so right. yeah i like hearing you say that um exactly, yeah. <laughs> now that you've gotten a chance to actually see the film i'm assuming um yes i've seen the film. <laughs> okay good do you have a favorite scene or favorite memory and that might actually lead into this uh film was shot over a ton of locations too so do you have a favorite memory on one of those different locations hmm. um there was a really funny day in the Canary Islands where we were all um, approaching this, like there's a ship and we're approaching it and all of us were there and it was so like windy and we couldn't see anything. It was pre COVID, but we were actually like wearing masks because we couldn't breathe because the wind was so strong. So we had to do a scene where we're all standing there. We're supposed to be looking cool. And everyone was wearing sunglasses because we couldn't like throw sand blowing at our faces. And they were like, uh -huh. who wants to take, someone needs to take off their sunglasses for the scene. Like someone had to like take them off and look at the thing. And no one was like, nope, I'm good. We're good. They're like, let Leah do it. Yeah, let Leah do it. Leah can do it. So I, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I mean, that's a super cool scene. You had to feel. Like you're standing there <laughs> yeah. on, among a team of superheroes and you're the one that gets to like super coolly take I off know, the I was actually excited about that because no one else wanted to do it. <laughs> That's right. amazing. And that was like a visual that I feel like made it into some of the promo stuff as well, right? Yeah, it is. It's a really cool part. <laughs> Man. That's funny. Well, what what was it like for you? Uh, I, I, I guess two things. First, I'll ask, how did you come to be cast in Eternals and what did that process like for you to look like for you to wind up as as Sprite in this film? 
Well, you know, I got an audition as I, you know, I, I, I auditioned a lot in person um, before COVID. So it was just a regular audition. And I knew it was for Marvel because I had been to that like casting office before, um, mm-hmm. but I didn't know what it was for. It was, and it had the description of like a girl with dark hair and dark eyes. And I went in and I was like, I had blonde hair at the time. And I was like, I'm willing to dye my hair darker or wear contacts. And she laughed at me and she was like, that has nothing to do with this movie. This is like gummy sides. These aren't real. Don't worry. <laughs> I was like, oh, so I got a call back and I got actual sides and I designed an NDA, of course, and I realized what it was for and I Googled it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is for Eternals. But the crazy thing is I had no idea how much of the movie I would even be in. Like, cause I didn't get to read the script until after I signed the contract. So it was, it was quite the exciting surprise when I read the script for the first time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like a lead in this movie. It's so crazy to me that you can go into these films not even having an idea or going to these auditions, not even having an idea what you're auditioning Seriously, for. It's never happened to me before. Cause I, I usually I'll read a script when I get the audition, you know? Wow. That's Man. crazy. Um, that is crazy. One of my favorite parts of the entire film is actually the plot that's centered on your character. This idea that you are an ancient person trapped in a young person's body and you have humans who would do anything to live eternally. And yet now you have Eternals that just want to actually grow old and live a life. Um, I know that's a deep question, but how did you approach playing a character that unique? <laughs> you know, I guess the grass is always greener on the other side, right? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, I've, I felt sort of stuck being young. I've been working with adults since, since I was like nine on set. Mm. And I feel like a lot of my good friends are adult actors. And I feel that I've sort of grown up a lot faster than any kid really my age. And I felt that I sort of understood feeling like an adult or being stuck, you know, looking mm. young. And I, I was really excited to play that character because of that, because I don't think it's really been sort of, there's never really been a character like that before, especially mm. who's thousands of years old in the body of a child. I found her, her history really interesting and, you know, her power of storytelling and how throughout the years, she sort of like brought history with her. Y- you know, it's like, sort of imagine that, you know, she's right. She's written history books and she's come up with, you know, mythology and all these things Mm -hmm. and and how smart she is, you know, and how much, and she, I think she takes a lot of pride in like the history that she's brought with her. And it's like really Mm -hmm. sad that she can't, you know, like revel in it. They can't be, you know, she can't be recognized as what she really is. Oh, I didn't even think about that's such a cool answer that you could bring that much personal experience, I guess, into a role like this. I love that. Thank you. Guess it just happened. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> did uh did you get a chance um or or feel the need to read any particular comics ahead of the film? Was there anything that Chloe pointed y'all to, or was it sort of intentionally separate from from that mythology? Well, I I didn't read the comics. I don't think any of us read the comics. Um, I think it's very different than the script, and so we I've just focused on what the story was and talking to Chloe about it, you know, she compared Sprite to Judy Dench, um, sort of, you know, Sprite's an old soul. She's an old lady and, you know, she's tired of it. She's tired of living. She's tired of life. She's tired of humans. Mm. She's a little cranky in that way. So it was just, it was more like communicating with Chloe and understanding the script and her backstory. Okay. A couple of quick uh, rapid fire questions here about your other cast members. Okay. So this is about the actor themselves, not about the eternal. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Who is the funniest actor on set? Kumail. Really? He's so funny. I don't understand it. Like he just, he just says the funniest things. I was laughing with him the whole time. We had our hair and makeup chairs next to each other. So we were, and we had a lot of scenes together and, you know, we, we sort of banter in the movie. So it was a lot of fun. We were basically like that offset too. (laughs) He's one of the funniest parts. Yeah. I was going to say in the movie too. Yeah. Uh, Which, uh, actor would you like to have lunch with the most i mean i've had lunch with all of them but i know but right now <laughs> tomorrow right now yeah uh don i love don and he he like recommends like the best restaurants too mm. love that that's a good okay. tip <laughs> yeah there you go it's always important to have the good restaurant guy around oh here. yeah good food <laughs> um which actor would you take into battle with you Barry. 
Mm. Barry. Barry like boxes in real life too. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No way. How about which which actual eternal would you take in a battle with you? Athena. Yeah. Definitely Athena. Yeah. She's really cool. Love it. Well, I I have to say, and part of the reason I asked about the the comic source, uh, my wife and I read through the Neil Gaiman Eternals comics together recently. Um, she's been sort of getting introduced to the world, and Sprite through that became her favorite Eternal. Um, and Aww. so then when she got to go to the screening with me, she was very excited to see the way that you portray the character, and came away with Sprite still being her favorite Eternal. So without <laughs> intending to, uh, you carried that over very well from the from the source material. Oh, that's so sweet. Tell her I say thank you and hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. Well, Leah, this has been an absolute honor. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed the film. We loved your portrayal of Sprite. Thank loved you what so you brought much. to that character. And chatting with you has only made that better. So thank you so much. I you, We say this every time, but there's an open invitation for you on Friends from Work. If you ever need to come back, if you made make Eternals 2, you have us to talk to. So mm -hmm. I, I, you know, we figure we can't say anything about that because we might get shot, but you know. That's true. Yeah, I can't, I can't say anything. <laughs> they honestly said. never tell me anything anyways. It tells me <laughs> so, We know what everyone else knows pretty much. <laughs> well, then you're safe either way. Well, thank you so much. This has been awesome. Oh, thank you guys so much.